What's up YouTube, it's Anthony from CompSize Studio and welcome back to your 15th Java Advanced Tutorial. So today I'm going to be teaching you guys about another keyword in Java and this keyword is called instance of. Now basically instance of is just a comparison operator or a comparison keyword that takes two types and checks to see if they're somehow related. Now first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set up my classes and I'm going to change my main my class with my main method back to uh, YouTube tutorials and refactor it so he's good and I'm going to create yet another class and we're going to call this one um, I don't know what should we call it we'll call it a Viper a Dodge Viper and Viper is going to extend our car class that we already have created so we have a method that is protected and it's called void print message and it just has a little prompt that says hello from the car class now the Viper class let's make it extend our car class so this is inheritance right here that we learned in the last tutorial so right over here now we have Viper and it extends and when I say extends it inherits all the methods all the variables and all the fields that are within the car class <clears throat> so now that we have that let's just save it quickly and let's go to our YouTube's tutorials class and start teaching you guys about instance of now first before we use instance of we have to create an object out of our Viper class now remember to make an object all you have to type is the name of the class that we want to make the object of which is Viper and then we could call it just obj whatever you want to call it and then set it equal to new viper now we have an object created from the viper class after we have that we can check to see if viper is an instance of or in other words if viper inherits from the car class so to do this we could just make a simple if statement go if Viper, or no, wouldn't be Viper, if object, obj, is an instance of, now instance of is spelled instance and then of, it's all one word, and so we're going to check if it's an instance of the car class. Now, if object is an instance of the car class, we could just do a little print statement and say, yes, Viper inherits from the car class period there for Viper is a car so that's a little prompt it's pretty long <laughs> and so if we run this now make sure you called your down here in your main method make sure you called your YouTube's tutorial constructor and if we run it now we get yes Viper inherits from the car class therefore Viper is a car so let me just run over this one more time before I end this tutorial. So we have a YouTube's tutorial class and we didn't need to extend it from car just saying we didn't need that at all. That does not make a difference. Let me just run it to show you guys so we get the same result. I just forgot to delete that from the last tutorial. So we have a constructor here called public YouTube tutorials and we created an object from the Viper class. So let's go over to the Viper class and in the Viper class we noticed that we extended from the car class um, we didn't actually use print message or anything we just extended it and therefore Viper inherits this method that was created in the car class and then we have an if statement that checks to see if the object we created which is of type Viper inherits from the car class in which it does right here then it would do a little print statement and yeah that's all this program really does this is just a basic rundown of the keyword instance of if you guys have any questions please feel free to message me and i'll reply as soon as i can and yeah hope you hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial and i'll see you in the next one